Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley at sprinkledwithglitter.com. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing a project featuring the brand new inks from Pink Fresh Studio. I did an entire introduction video on all of the new colors, so be sure to check that out if you're interested. But I grabbed a few of my favorites to create a couple of projects with, and I'll be sharing those over the next couple of days. And two of my favorite new ink collections are the Rose Garden and the Green Gables ink colors. And I thought I would combine them with some products that I already own from Pink Fresh Studio and show you how these kind of breathe new life into the products that I already have. So I'm going to be mixing and matching some older and newer holiday products from Pink Fresh Studio to create a holiday themed card today. And one of my favorite newer products from the holiday release for this year is the Winter Berries Frame Hot Foil set. And there's a coordinating stamp set, stencil set, and die set as well. So if you're not into hot foiling, you could use the stamp set with some gold embossing powder and achieve a similar look. So I'm starting out by hot foiling a bunch of different items, including a couple of these Winterberry frames on some white cardstock. I use Concord and Ninth white cardstock. And this time I'm actually going to foil it onto some glitter cardstock. I'm not doing anything different than I normally do with foiling. I'm just adding glitter cardstock instead of regular cardstock. And this gave me just such a beautiful result. I think this is so much fun and I can't wait to experiment with it a little bit more. This is some white glitter cardstock and you can see I got a great result. And I did try a couple of different brands of white glitter cardstock. This happens to be a little bit of white glitter cardstock that was left over from the Pink Fresh Studio Holiday Create and Connect card making event. And it foiled on this one beautifully as well. And I'm just gonna die cut those and use them as is without adding any color. But you could definitely color these images with some ink or some alcohol markers. Now I've also grabbed this Joy Hot Foil set. This is a previously released item from the holiday collection from Pink Fresh Studio. So I'm just going to hot foil this onto some plain white cardstock, just running that through my die cut machine there. And I believe this was from last year's holiday release. So I'm kind of, like I mentioned before, mixing and matching different items that I have in my collection. And I also grabbed the Ornaments Hot Foil Plate, and I'm going to hot foil that again on some plain white cardstock. Now for all of these images, I am using my favorite hot foil color, and that is the Champagne Foil from Spellbinders, the Glimmer Foil. I love this gold. It's kind of a softer gold than their brass or their traditional gold, and it is hands down my favorite foil. Now keep in mind, many of these images that I'm using today are available in a stamp set as well. So if you don't do the hot foil thing, you could stamp these instead, as I mentioned before. So now that I have all of my hot foiling done, I'm gonna start using the layering stencils and my brand new Pink Fresh Studio inks to add some color to these images. And I'm starting off with the sage ink and I am ink blending this color onto the leaves of my winter berries frame. And I thought it would be fun to take the lighter colors of these two collections, so the Rose Garden collection and the Green Gables collection, and create a light version of this winter berries frame, and then use the darker colors to create a dark version. So the two lighter colors of the greens in the Green Gables are sage and eucalyptus. So I've ink blended the sage all over the leaves and then I'm adding a little bit of intensity towards the base of the leaves using the eucalyptus color. And I am using the half inch blending brushes from Pink Fresh Studio because I find that I'm able to control on smaller images like this where I'm putting my ink and add that kind of depth with shading. Now I'm moving on to stencil number two and my new favorite pink ink from Pink Fresh Studio. It is called Cherry Blossom and it is fabulous. Move over Coral Reef, there's a new pink in town. <laughs> and this one I love so much because it's not cool like Ballet Slipper, but it's not quite as intense as Coral Reef. So I'm absolutely loving it. 
And for the darker berries and stencil three on these images, I'm using peony ink. Now I'm going to show you what this looks like and I'm gonna pull it off of my grip mat here that I use to hold my stencils and my cardstock in place as I'm ink blending. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I'm loving how changing up my color palettes are really changing how all of these images feel. So I'm gonna go through the same process with another set of these foiled images, the Winterberries frame. This time I'm starting with spruce tips for the entirety of the leaves. I'm just blending that on. I am blending a little heavier at the base of the leaves and then kind of fading it out. And once I get that spruce tips over the entire leaf surface, I'm gonna wipe my stencil down and I'm gonna bring in Lush Forest. Now this Lush Forest is gorgeous and it is such an intense color and I love the depth that it adds at the base of these leaves. It is, it really surprised me because it's one of those colors that I didn't expect to love so much but I picked it as one of my favorites of this new collection. Now for the berries on this winter berries frame, I'm going to use the two darker colors in the Rose Garden ink collection, and that is Begonia and Mulberry Blush. And these have a real earthy quality to them. They are so beautiful, almost kind of bordering on a little bit of a bricky color for this Mulberry Blush but so beautiful and with all of these new inks i think you're gonna love how they really do just fit in so well with the original colors from pink fresh studio and all of these new color collections are in groups of four so you have your lights medium and darks in all of the color collections which really helps with stamp layering and ink blending so here's the darker version of the Winterberries frame, and I'm gonna hold them both up so you can see them side by side. These both feature the same two color collections, so Green Gables and Rose Garden, but I've used the lighter colors from those collections on the set on the right and the darker on the set on the left. Now I've used these same ink colors to blend these ornaments and I think they're beautiful. And now I'm gonna take all of the images that I foiled and blended and I am going to just have a little die cutting party here. <laughs> and I'm gonna have a lot of images. So I'm actually creating two cards with all of these hot foiled and ink blended images. Tomorrow you're going to see another card which features some of these gorgeous winter berry frame greenery pieces as well as the ornaments so be sure to check back because i'll have a brand new video featuring that and i still have images left over even after creating those two cards that i could create a third fourth and fifth card very easily so for the first card i'm going to use the word joy and i am going to substitute an ornament for the letter o and i've kind of arranged some of the greenery there around that ornament there in the center. And I'm gonna allow a couple of the vines to kind of overlap the letter J and the letter Y in my word joy. I'm also going to tuck in a couple of those hot foiled glitter pieces. And before I attach those all together, I am going to heat emboss a panel. This is blue spruce cardstock from Spellbinders. I've treated the surface of it with an anti-static powder tool. And I'm inking up the Dainty Plaid Rubber Clean Background Stamp from Pink Fresh Studio. And I'm stamping this Dainty Plaid pattern onto this cardstock using some Versamark ink. And then I am going to cover that stamped pattern with some clear embossing powder. You can see I actually just took my cardstock right to the stamp. I covered that with a piece of scrap paper and rubbed my hand all over the back of that so that I could transfer all of that Versamark ink onto my colored cardstock. Now I know there are a lot of you who are going to ask about these gorgeous gold tweezers that I'm using. They were the swag from this weekend's or this past weekend's Pink Fresh Studio Holiday Create and Connect event. Pink Fresh Studio gives the best swag but never fear, I'm sure, now I don't have this like as word from Pink Fresh Studio, but generally they release these items at a later date. So I'm hoping that you'll be able to get your hands on a pair of these reverse grip tweezers from Pink Fresh Studio in this gorgeous gold color. 
So stay tuned for that. I'll make sure you know when those are available if they become available. Now I've taken and heat embossed this pattern onto this cardstock and I'm just adding a little bit of that lush forest ink to like darken up and intensify and add some contrast around this cardstock panel. I have die cut it with one of the Pink Fresh Studio stitched rectangle dies. And now I'm going to take a plain white die cut of that letter O and I'm going to start attaching some of this greenery to it using some liquid glue. Now I did add a couple of layers of plain white cardstock behind the J and the Y to give it a little bit of depth and dimension and a little bit of sturdiness on my card front. And to attach it to my card panel, I'm using some liquid glue and a T ruler to make sure that I get these kind of straight across the front of my card. I don't want my word to be kind of dipping down on the ends or crooked. So I'm just using a T ruler to help me line those up. I like to start with the two outside letters when there are three letters like this, and then I can place the O right in the center of those so that I know that everything's where it needs to be. And once I get that placed down, I'm just going to add the ornament right on top of that die cut O using some liquid glue. And I'm just gonna continue tucking in a couple extra items there to fill out my card front. But I have to admit at this point, the card design felt like I got it maybe a little bit high. So in order to remedy that, I am going to bring in a basic banners Christmas sentiment strip. I have heat embossed this on vellum using some gold embossing powder, and I backed it with a little bit of salmon cardstock, which by the way, the Peak Fresh Studio Peony ink is a perfect match for this salmon cardstock from the stamp market, and it's one of my favorite pink cardstocks, so it's absolutely beautiful, but that kind of helped balance out my design. I finished this off with some iridescent drops from Pink Fresh Studio, and that finishes off my card for today featuring the brand new inks from Pink Fresh Studio. As I mentioned before, if you haven't already checked out my intro video to these inks, be sure to check it out because I'm going to stamp and swatch them all for you and kind of talk you through this brand new color collection. Now, as always, I will have links to the featured products used in this project in the description at YouTube. So if you're looking for something in particular, be sure you check there or you can head on over to my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com. I'll have that linked below as well. Over there, you'll find more still shots, more information, a complete list of supplies, as well as some information on a blog hop that's happening today to celebrate these brand new inks from Pink Fresh Studio. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Leave me a comment below and let me know which of these new colors is your favorite. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe and turn on the notifications here on my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of my card making and paper crafting video tutorials. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'm so glad you're here. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.